Pisces. Pisces, this is your forecast for August 2015. And uh, last month here, July, you might have felt that things were really pulsating around you with creativity, new thoughts, new ideas, spending time too. More so, should I say, with children and uh, also expressing some of these uh, perhaps new concepts into the businesses that you own if you do. This is where a lot of that creative energy will have been focused in July. Some of that is still there at least until uh, August the 8th because Mars is still in this area. Now the fifth house <clears throat> also uh, rules uh, your true love and if you are single, well, maybe you might still find somebody here while Mars is in action. But after the 8th, it will be moving into the 6th house. And this is where the main focus is going to be this month. As you have the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, the new moon, and then after the 8th, Mars too. That means that you have so much going on in your 6th house. And what does that mean? Well... It has to do with your day-to-day -day routine, how you eat, uh, be, mm, should I say, becoming more conscious of your health, what you take in, what you give out. Are you working out enough? Are you working out too little? Those kind of things. It's going to really bring health-related <clears throat> matters uh, to the forefront where you might be able to take a little bit more charge or at least a little bit more interest. Now the sixth house is also how we organize our life and how we work and share our time with co-workers. Uh, so you might come to see that there's going to be a whole lot more interaction here with uh, the others. And uh, I feel that you of the crowd, you of all of them, might be the one coming up with some incredible good solutions, new ideas, Mercury is there in thinking, and Venus is there, so it's being really creative, Jupiter is wanting to expand, and in fact, Jupiter has been here nearly now for a full year, and it's wrapping up its journey, August the 11th. Then, it will be moving into your partnership house, so lo and behold, here at Pisces, after August 11th, for a full year to late summer of 2016, Jupiter is going to be expanding <clears throat> this area in your life. So for those of you who are married and have your significant other, you will come to see how this is going to be such a beautiful, uh, beneficial aspect uh, to <clears throat> both of you. And for those of you who are single, well, you might just find that life partner. The beauty about having this aspect is that it takes Jupiter 12 years to go around your chart once. So it's been 12 years since you had the focus here. So it's going to start off good. It's going to be beautiful from the 11th. Venus is going to follow shortly behind. And so here, rest of August, you're going to be having this um, expansion and even more so in September, but that's next month. We'll talk about that. Um, but yes, let's go back <clears throat> to your sun. Excuse me, allergies today. Uh, the Sun and Mercury, they are really trying now to figure out how can you strategize and mm, bring your day-to-day -day schedule into a new routine. Think about having nearly all the planets in one area is allowing you to really uh, think tank this. And whatever you do now, it's going to benefit you for the entire year until next year. So make sure you make the most out of it. Um, they're all traveling in the sign of Leo, and Leo is those things that we hold close to heart. It's where we take our pride. We want things to be big, bold, beautiful. This is how we're expressing our energies. And uh, I'm feeling too that Venus here definitely is taking a whole lot of pride in the work that you do because you know, Pisces, just how creative you are, right? And you're wanting this now to really start showing up and I, I think the blessing of this Venus retrograde, which it will be the entire month in this area of the sixth house, in the sign of Leo, is giving you all that extra time to uh, put together your highest best, your highest good, the passion that you hold uh, that will stand strong in the aftermath. 
Venus seed normally just rushes by. It takes like three weeks and it's through a sign for the most part. And sometimes when things move so quickly like this, we're not really focusing. We're not giving it the time it deserves to really ground it, grow some good roots. This is what the retrograde of Venus now is going to do for you and do it in a grand style because it is Leo, right? Uh, Jupiter there, well, you've been feeling this energy for this whole last year, so you've already started that journey. Uh, it's just finalizing now. Uh, the new moon, which will be on August the 14th, and it will be 21 degrees in Leo. You want to check out what other planets you may have at 21 degrees, because that new moon will ricochet off of it. It's in a fire sign, and it is in uh, here at the 6th house of Virgo, so your um, intention should definitely be on uh, not just the home-related matters uh, of work, but how you work in general with people, your career, or, and also at home. So, and also don't forget to write your abundance check to yourself. And I'd just like to answer something uh, while we're talking about the abundance check. Uh, I've had a few emails. What do we do with our abundance check when the time runs out? Tear it up. Toss it away. You can do that at two periods. You write it on the new moon, and then you just tear it up on the full moon, or you can just keep it till the next new moon uh, check. So that's up to you, but yeah, you just tear it up. Um, so listen, uh, we have Saturn now going direct again after several months of its retrograde, and the Saturn has been uh, cruising your ninth house for higher education, for the studies that you do. Uh, it is spirituality. It's publishing. For those of you Pisces that have really been publishing out there, you've kind of been like going back over, can I do this? Can I do that? What if I do this? What if I add that? See, so you're, you're getting like the, the last little sling of what Saturn can give you in the highest regard before uh, he moves out of this area, which will be shortly. It's currently 28 degrees. I've got two more degrees to go. And then he's going to park himself in your career house for the next two to two and a half years and that will be a whole load of new type of mm, responsibilities all right and, and then you're going to really show the world what it is you have compiled to that point so um enjoy that it is uh august the second give it a little time though because when a big body like that has been moving and it stops and turns it takes a little time to adjust before it finds its traction and takes off. So it's going to be very slow moving forward here in the, the month of August, but then by September we should start seeing picking up speed. More on that next month. So um, yes, what we have on the top of the month, maybe you have uh, listened to your taroscope. If not, I would suggest that you go listen to it because the planets gives us a certain uh, body of information where the planets are operating in our solar chart. Now the Tarot works on totally different dimensions and, and gives more insight of what takes place and who's coming in and going out and intermeshing with you there. So do listen to that and, and do listen to your partners too just to see how these two work so well together both the astrology and the Tarot. But we're starting off <clears throat> top of the month August the 2nd. This is Mercury, communication coming from Uranus. Uranus is always full of surprises. It's your second house for money and income. Now, it's a beautiful trine, so the news should be good. It's between your second and your sixth house, so it could be money you've earned, money that you uh, could have heard about or been waiting for. Maybe that is gonna unlock the key for you, or the key will unlock <laughs> it for you. And then we have here, though, between the third and the sixth, a little bit of mm, a hiccup, perhaps. This is because Jupiter, Venus, and Mercury, all three will be squaring up on Saturn. But Saturn now is no longer retrograde, Saturn being in that ninth house. It's coming from, the squares are coming from that uh, sixth house. So it might be one of your coworkers that might be having an issue uh, maybe there's some news from overseas that you have to pay attention to. Uh, whatever it is for you. 
but see Jupiter wants always to expand and then Saturn here constricts so there's that push-pull and um, so if you don't have to make a decision here on this date buy a little time because uh, Venus too is going to square on that Saturn on the 5th Mercury on the 6th and so I'm seeing that you're needing probably maybe to sign some papers some legal documents it's the ninth house um, it could be money matters coming in uh, but then again see you might even feel it here at the end of July getting into August that something is pending and building and you're gonna go ooh the square is coming but then on the fourth smack in the middle of those days I'm seeing that here we go again the beautiful conjunction of Venus and Jupiter I call that the, the cosmic kiss last month July 1st some of you already got to see and feel what that was about some of you are still waiting where it didn't take place yet this is the blessing of Venus's retrograde it's coming back around second time this is happening right now normally we only get it one day a year here we're getting it twice within just literally a month and uh, so you might come to see that things are going to come together here on the first no fourth and to get some more news of it but we still have a third run-in a third conjunction which is going to be a little bit later so uh, we got this ongoing long slow development with Venus and I think the news that you hear now might help you make the decision that you need to make there on the fifth or sixth this month though it's relatively quiet I've said that to the other readings here too because normally on any given month we've got like this whole long list of uh, aspects and transits that we're going to go through but the rest of the month is relatively quiet we got the Sun conjuncting Venus on the 15th beautiful day to have a date uh, that will be here in your sixth house uh, we have on the 19th Venus and uh, Uranus doing a trine and so that is also between the sixth and the second house so you might be celebrating something financial or it could also be romantic because it is Venus but it's also that second house of money and those things that are valuable to you so you'll have to see but it's always very exciting whenever Uranus is in the picture so you would definitely want to kind of circle that on your chart too and then the rest of the time is the universe right now allowing you time to deepen into those things and where is the main focus for you to deepen how do you want your life to look are you happy with the routine the way work is eating up your time schedule could you work differently to consolidate some time here or there so you can free up time those things will be popping up into your mind and I'd like to say listen 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 to it the new moon is there that's what your intention should be all about because what you do here in August Pisces trust me it's going to set you free for the whole rest of the year until the next new moon here uh, late summer of 2016 and since you are such a creative person and you work all these odd hours we know don't we Pisces that you know it, it, it's good to free up some of the time so you can get some of the other creative creative projects in if not you will be spread so thin that there's only a little here and little there and little there being done if you consolidate your time structure it you can do a full ended thing here have open time to restore energy and do a whole second project maybe even a whole third project that's how you gotta think because Neptune with you it's always you know in the flow it's always being creative and yet again it's hard to find the form the sixth house is all about form it's ruled by Virgo so it analyzes and it's your opposite sign where all these planets now uh, the sixth house being Virgo not in the sign of Virgo but the sixth house is the Virgo house where it helps us uh, organize that's your key word for this month Pisces so listen enjoy August have a wonderful one we got that full moon on the 29th I don't know if I mentioned that six degrees in your sign and so for that will be in the first house so you will come to see at the very turn of the month that this area is going to be illuminated it has to do with you your personality the way you come out whatever it is you're giving out to the world there on the 29th should be absolutely fantastic 
it is passing over those degrees of Neptune, which is your hopes, your dreams, your creativity, your spirituality, and it is what you give out to those who meet you. So that should be really nice to see what is. But listen, go jet over to your Taroscope to see what's coming up for you now here in August, uh, Pisces, and uh, listen to your partner's uh, sign too, just to see what he or she can expect. And I'll see you in September. Have a great month.